All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages, to our final match of the day. We're now in the top four of the event as we take a look at STCN versus Rain here on North. Spawn in the green on the top side of the map, STCN, the last surviving Asia team, is that right, I believe? I'm thinking, I'm correct, thinking, yes, sir. that's correct. All right, Zath, what has STCN got in the field? Interestingly enough, I recall right, STCN was Asia's number three clan. That sounds uh, correct. Anyways, uh, they are bringing with them a Conqueror. First time seeing a Conqueror today with that unique upgrade, allowing yeah. uh, him to turn quite a bit at the expense, if I remember right, of concealment. Mm -hmm. Just to double check. Um, we've got uh, an Ohio and, let's see, a Stalingrad. The Stalingrad hasn't... Nope, now he's starting to move. Okay, I was starting to worry about a disconnect here. <laughs> uh, Stalingrad's running a range module. Mm -hmm. And let's see, we got Des Moines and Hargamo heading towards the 910 line in pretty much what you expect to see at this point in the tournament. Uh, Shimakaze, this is a 12-kilometer Shimakaze Raptor that's currently heading towards A with torpedo build. Um, Napoli behind and behind as well, a Ragnar. And finally, a Des Moines with a uh, looks like reload mod instead of unique upgrade, probably heading towards the Echo 5 island. Hmm. Well, we got to the south for uh, for rain, sir. All right. Rain headed over here towards the ACAP. They are fielding Dastard's Vermont here. We've seen him play this ship before in the event. Fronted by Artorius's Des Moines. Sheep's Gearing. And Gangbarang's Ragnar. We're about to have a little bit of a possibly hot Ragnar on Shimikaze action as Gang picks up his radar here, here coming around the corner. Should get some free shots here at the Shima. Ooh, gonna take some Napoli shells in return. Yeah, he hit the brakes. Yeah, hit the brakes and they flew right by. Vermont Salvo Honestly, going down uh, range on, more, on the Shima as well. Yeah, I'd be more concerned about a... Uh, a Venezia than a Napoli mm. when it comes to uh, True. destroyer slap. True. So Gang moving up a little aggressively, not really getting, I mean, get, they get some good damage into it, but of course he backs off the cap. I'm sure that Sheep's Gearing will take care of that shortly. Lulu Snails Moskva mm -hmm. playing here mid, playing a very home guard defensive kind of position here on the south side of the B cap. As uh, we look over towards C, we've got Dubaisen's Daring. All of his torpedoes already headed up the uh, up the eight line there, looking for somebody potentially mirroring his position on the north side of the sea cap. Madara's Des Moines and Ship Shady's Harugamo headed over here towards the 910 line. And backing all of that up here is Malamu's Ohio. So rain going for like a straight up four, 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 one, even split, right? Four ships to east, four ships to west, and one ship hovering mid. Mm-hmm. Now, interesting, I'm, I'm looking at the builds. Uh, Rains, Ohio, has a turret traverse in slot three. Oh, Sheep's going to take a torpedo. Oh, oh! Oh! That is a huge torpedo. That hits like a train. Down on 1,000 HP is Sheep. Caught under the Ragnar radar. A couple of shells will put He's him out. out. There he goes. The radar came up right as those torpedoes started to come in, and then the torpedo hit him right as the radar caught him. Wow. Good use of torpedoes by that Shimakaze. STC in getting a little revenge here for that early radar on Gangbarang is now it feels like maybe they're kind of angling for a bit more of a of a kiting flank here at A as they grab C at the other side on the other side of the map. Yeah, it makes sense. Um they've lost one ship. They can't really easily push now can they i mean no yeah and the struggle they're going to have is then they can't even really contest this cap right artorius's des moines is now going to be without smoke the rest of the time gangbarang's ragnar mm -hmm. you can see he's i think doesn't he have rpf no he doesn't but yes. apparently they, no? no no he doesn't. he doesn't but they've somebody over here must have it they've got a pretty good idea of where the shimikaze is i'm guessing either that or he's just very very good at his job could be a little both they do catch, <laughs> do catch the Shimikaze out here on his radar. Yep. Reminder, Brisbane and Marseille were the bands for this yes. game. Gang willing to just weather whatever fire he has to 
to push this Shima off, possibly even pick up the kill. Radar is expiring. Yeah. They chunk him down, but Rans Shimikaze is still alive over there on the edge of the map. Yep, still shells coming in on him. Of course, they're, they're trying to fish for that kill. Plus, I mean, let's face it, if you're Arturius, what else are you going to shoot at? True. Dubison's daring now moving back west along the F line. He's going to make a play for B. That should draw out a radar from Luboy's Des Moines, but who's going to shoot him? The Stalingrad, maybe. They don't have anybody mm -hmm. with, with guns looking into the B-cap. No, they do not. Meanwhile, Rain looks like they're fixing to prep their push up the 910 line. Kind of waiting to see. They're just in see. a holding pattern right now. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're just playing conservatively. I think they're waiting to maybe see. There's possibly some ships that they haven't spotted yet on the opposing team. And they want to be a little conservative right now. They don't really know, or they're trying to get a sense of what's up ahead of them. But now Ship mm -hmm. Shady's turned his engines on. Going to move up alongside Madara, and I think they're going to hold for a bit. Maybe wait to see how things play out at B. Blanquillo's Ragnar now coming back towards B. That has the potential to give STC and the guns in this cap that they don't currently have. Yeah, I was keeping an eye on the 910 line. Chip Shady just moved forward, but he's still kind of sitting there. I thought we saw a Hargumo get nailed earlier today. Wasn't that Quincy over there? Mm-hmm. Dubison touches B. That, that exact same spot. There's the Des Moines radar, as anticipated. That'll cause him to kind of spin out of the cap, go find himself some cover over here, snuggle up to this island, wait it out. Mm-hmm. Very patient. Very board control style game from Rain right now. STCN, despite being up a ship, not really taking advantage of the of the uh, well of the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem is that Shimakaze, you know, Gangbrang basically just bullied him yeah. to the point where he got a bit of a bloody nose and he's like, Well, I don't know that I want to push right now. Yeah, I mean, anymore. that's the, that's the thing. He's still alive. He's still on the board, but he's low enough that he has to be very cautious uh, over here, knowing that that Ragnar is hunting him and can put him out almost at leisure if he runs into him. Right. And you can see the Conqueror has also been rotated. So uh, it feels like STCN is basically saying, all right, we're just going to hold over at A for now and try to make something happen in B, as Dastard's Vermont is also being shoved farther up into B. Look at how far up he is. You know, I'm surprised. They brought Dubison back to the bottom into B. He touched the cap, baited out the radar, then said, okay, we're done here. Now he's going to A. They're going to bring him all the way to the other side of the board as Shady and Madara continue to camp on uh, the 10 line, just having a cup of coffee. So that kind of makes sense if you think about it, because he's spotted there. They, they, the last known location on the minimap will be at that, that last spot. Right. And then once the radar is gone, well, they don't know what he's going to do. They expect he's going to back back in. And you can see uh, Blanquilo's Ragnar is in position, covering all of BCAP ready for the daring to do that. Yep. But Bison's not playing that game. Nope. And this, will, this, so this flipping this cap will, will, will do a double duty for them. For starters, the Des Moines radar is down for another 25 seconds, so they'll get almost mm. completely through this cap. In fact, Dubison actually has the opportunity to get completely out of the cap ra the radar range before the cap finishes. So they'll start tick. Not only will they start ticking up these points, they're going to deny them to STCN along the way. Well, and you can kind of see, too, that that's going to encourage Luboy to move farther forward so he can get more coverage of the ACAP. I was going to say, have a look at Luboy. Oh, they're going to be oh, okay. Yeah. Whoo. But that was, that's a really good trap that Rain laid there. Yes. Right? Because if Luboy moved farther forward, ouch. Yep. Just like that, the lead change occurs. Rain picks up the ACAP. Sorry, I apologize. They're a few points shy, but they'll have it in a moment. Yep. Dastard got detected. He was being shot at. DCP'd. I think the Stalingrad but was the, punishing him with some AP right there. Yeah, the big question, though, is what's STCN going to do now? 
Yeah, so now that Rain definitely has, you know, a, a 20-point lead and growing here, we're over the halfway mark of the game. You know, if you're STCN, now what do you do? You know, you you had you had time, you had a ship lead, you had a mm-hmm. points lead, you sat still, you gave Rain the opportunity to do something to make at, some moves. Look at 910. Oh yeah. And now that, 10. And, That's now, and now and now they're making those moves. Yep. Yeah, I really like the fact that uh, Rain said, okay, well, we're going to go here, and then we know STCN's going to say, well, what are we doing on 910? Let's do something. Yeah. And that's when they caught them right there. Jailer now still on radar, still being shot at by both the Hargamo and by the Des Moines. They also made sure that the Ohio was the first thing spotted, and as a result, you can see all the torpedoes being dumped in his direction. Yep. And essentially wasted. Still 10 Jailer's more... still in trouble. 10 more seconds of radar for Jailer. He's about to sail out of it. But not before they get him all the way down under 2,000 HP. Nope, they're going to... Under 1,000 Are they going to bag him? They might bag this kill, Zaf. They do. They are. There it is. Wow. Very decisive play by Rain. Yep. Ship Shady Koss loses some HP for that. Zabayev's Des Moines radar catching him out for a few seconds. But just like that, Rain out to a 230-point lead and growing. And that early ship kill now meant nothing for STCN. They have to find a way back in. Yep. It it feels like a little bit of bait and switch here on the 910 line, Zath. I like I like it. You know, you move, they moved Malamu up. They got everybody's you, you like draw the eye line. You get everybody looking at the Ohio, and the next thing you know, yeah. smoke cloud, boom, radar, Des Moines, and oops. Yep. They're winter destroyer. Exactly. Zabayev, by the way, took a torpedo on the bow despite having hydro on that. That's ouch. Now they may they may yet still lose Malamu, but I gotta say, Kiss's angle doesn't look mm. amazing back there. Malamu can't shaves another 12k off of him. Yeah. Malamu's trying to heal through this. 15 more seconds ticking on that heal. Now they have brought Blanquillo over. He's gonna grab C. But I think if you're if you're if you're rain right now, you sort of don't care. No. You've got a nice, you've got a, at the moment, a somewhat comfortable lead. You are about to lose this battleship. They are yeah, going to lose Malamu. He's Malibu going down, here. absolutely. Yeah, for sure. And so now, so now, our Ship Shady's torpedoes available. His, his, um, reload torpedo booster. reload booster is about to come off cooldown. And here's the rush. And there's the reload booster. He used and, it. Yeah, he did. He's going to get punished. How much damage? How much is he? How, you know, this is not exactly a straight torpedo rush. In fact, they're going to lose him here. I think, I yeah, think he's only going to land. He's going to get the kill. He's only going to land a couple of these, maybe. Yeah. We're not sure what his torpedo reload one. situation was. But obviously, he would have preferred to have two racks available, right? Yep. Fire the one, reload, boost. Fire he the didn't. other. He nope. didn't have the time, really. Well, lots of drama on the 10 line, as now Madara's Des Moines is all alone. Debison's daring back onto the bottom into B, drawing out a radar from the Stalingrad. Napoli just got chunked. Yeah, Dastard, on the one line. Dastard's been doing good work over here in this Vermont. It's still hanging around around 50, 60,000 HP here in the middle of the board. Down to about an 80 point kiss. lead for Rain. Go ahead. So STCN's Ohio manages a DCP, save the ship at 5,000 hit points. He's going to get a heal up. Yeah, but I think Lulu's going to bag Crucial. him. Oh, there's the heal. Maybe not. Madara yeah, and Adul. That's a crucial save for them over there. Yeah, Madara and Adul with Zabayev. You almost have to wonder if, 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 if there's anybody that can pitch in and help they can't. I think I think Dastard's too far away. Probably over 30 mm-hmm. kilometers to the nearest friendly battleship. As now Madara's getting double teamed. Blanquillo shows up. Dubison stepping onto B. Again, drawing out a radar. That's Luboy, who has moved over to the top end of A. He's get, actually getting pushed by Dastard. Dastard's Vermont just slowly inexorable inevitable here is it i don't think the des moines Ooh. can reverse fast enough zaf no i don't think so shimikaze's got torpedoes in the water to try to support probably won't get there quickly enough 
Bow turrets go in. They do claim the kill on the on the Des Moines, but it does cost them Zabayev. Madara takes the trade. Uh, that's a bad trade over that's a, there. That's the a bad. The that's, yeah, that's a bad trade for STCN. Stern turrets coming out of the Vermont now. Lou Boy manages to live, but man, is he chunking yeah. Gaster down along the way. Yep, that he is. Gaster's gonna go down right here almost. Nope, there's the heal and the DCP. He does go down. He does go down though. Conqueror takes it. That flips the lead. Actually, excuse me, that so Rain retains the lead. Somehow. They're they're down <laughs> two ships, but they have a 70 it's point about lead. About to be three. About to be three. Oh look at Lulu. What is Lulu doing, Zaf? Why why you do this? He's uh dying. Rather. Yeah, but as all soon he has as this next salvo comes out. Well, Ladinia has to get his guns loaded. There it is. I was like, if, is. if you can't let Lulu get this ram off. All right. Well, four minutes to play. It's it's now a two to one advantage in ships for STCN. But somehow, yeah. the game's about to be tied. Well, that's the power of map what? control and caps. What what happened, Zaf? Does it does it feel to you like Rain threw away ships there they didn't have to throw away? Um. No. Okay. I, I feel more like they had a plan. They went in. They they we we saw it unfold, and it didn't. It just just didn't quite work out the way that they had expected it to, right? The Ohio they lost at, at, at the, on the ten line. They weren't able to trade for uh, STCN's Ohio, right? Yeah. Um. And then they they tried. Okay. Well, let's go with the Harugumo then. Harugumo comes in. Also couldn't trade out for that Ohio, you know? Lulu tries to hit the Ohio, still couldn't hit him. Um, and then the Des Moines fight over on the 10 line ended up being a trade where obviously Rain needed that kill, not a trade there. Yeah, yeah, look at one last kiss. He was down to what, 1,000 HP at one point? Now back over 35K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he saved a ship at 5,000. It was when that, that the DCP hit, and then he started healing right as... Lulu's shells started coming in. Meanwhile, Daster going up with the A cap there, trying to trying to get that kill on the Des Moines, and, and frankly failing to kill him um, until the the very end, losing his own ship. Ultimately, I think those two oopsies over on the nine ten mm -hmm. line and on the the two three line. That's what sealed the deal uh, for this particular game. It's a twenty fantastic one to watch. Yeah, it's a twenty two point lead for Rain. With two minutes to play, they're about to lose control of B. They were trying to get the resets. If they could could have kept the resets, it would have worked. But now the, mm -hmm. that lead's going to shrink. Radar going up from the Stalingrad here at B, trying to maybe pick up this kill on Dubison, certainly to get some more damage into him. Well, it's also to get an idea of where are range ships right now. There's three of them. With that radar, they see two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. The Conqueror, <laughs> A.G.S.F. Zaf. Oh. I love I I I love playing destroyer. That physically hurt me to watch. It was ah, like it was Daring like just got colonized. It was yes, it was like three shells and it was eight thousand damage. It was lunacy. <laughs> Goodness gracious. STCN takes an early lead on ships, goes down on points, and somehow they're gonna win this game. I mean in the words of Lovey Smith, a win is a win is a win. <laughs> we, we don't complain about these things. We don't complain about these things. We just say thank you. Artorius has got all these right? ships in front of him on Hydro. He knows exactly where everybody is. There's no way he'll be able to punch out this Conqueror, even with his American piercing. He might have had a chance if the Stalingrad had made a mistake, but nope. ZKS nope. declining to do so. Now the AP in the bow is going to punch him out, and that's going to do it. Well, gang is about to die. There it is. There it is. Wow. Okay. Well. Wow, indeed. STCN showing showing us who they are. I we, I don't believe we've seen them thus far in the event, Zaf. And that is um, correct. Showing us the sheet, the team that knocked out Shaft earlier in the day, knocked off Vor earlier in the day. Maybe, yes. maybe on their way to knocking off Rain here. Wow. Wow, indeed. You know, I saw a screen cap earlier from Vor versus STCN. Moore had 999 
points to STCN's 993. I need to go find that game. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Let's, let's have a look at that one. All right. Well, let's kick it back to All the right, studio, well, guys. We'll see you again in a minute. Let's do it.